I am on a quest to solve the mystery of the missing male tiger sharks. As a lifelong surfer, I've always been somewhat frightened and intrigued by sharks. But Kinga Phillips has made a living living with sharks. She joins me now. She's about to be the Tiger Queen on Discovery Plus. Kinga, my friend, how are you? I'm doing so well. I'm so glad to hear that you are intrigued by sharks. I am intrigued because, you know, it's, it's interesting. Most of the time when there's some sort of conf confrontation between a human and a shark, it's the human's fault. You know, and it's always funny to me because people say it's shark infested oceans. And that always makes me laugh because I think this inner, this, this room right now is Kinga infested. This is where I live. Yeah. So we're actually going into their world when we step into the ocean. Yeah, I learned that, you know, when I was a Boy Scout, when we were in bear country or there were coyotes and other animals that were predators that we had to keep our food uh, separate from our campground to make sure we didn't attract them because we were in their world and we had to make sure we cleaned up after ourselves. These are just common sense things that people don't necessarily translate to the ocean. Absolutely, and you made such a great point. You know, we have so many apex predators on this incredible planet and people are always like, oh, bears, they're the best. Oh, lions, they're the best. But sharks, oh, those are really scary. And in reality, they're all just large predators and we have to be cautious and responsible and have some sort of self stewardship, like you said, around all of them. So tell me a little bit about your technique if you want to reveal the secret sauce mm -hmm. of getting in the water with the, with the shark. Uh, I, you know, I, I have to just disclose, we're fr personal friends, we've been friends for a long, long time, and I know that you've been doing this forever, but I don't really know how it is that you enter the water safely with predators. Well, that is such a great question, Carlos. And first and foremost, I would say, there always has to be respect. And people go, oh, are you afraid? You're probably not afraid. And the reality is, fear's not the word, but consciousness and respect is always the case. Because, you know, we have a Rottweiler, but if I were to walk up on a stray Rottweiler on the street, I don't know how that animal's gonna behave because I don't know that animal because it's a foreign animal to me. And it's that way with sharks as well. The great thing about sharks, as my friend, Dr. Austin Gallagher says, they are patient predators. We can be closer to them than we ever could be to a grizzly bear or a lion. But there are definitely some rules about getting in the water with sharks. And first and foremost, it's about being very calm. Sharks are predators and they prey on fish, they prey on marine mammals depending on the size. So really what they're looking for is a lot of movement in the water and splashing around. And I think instinctively when people see a shark in the water, they go, oh no, I gotta get out of there, I gotta get out of there. That's actually the worst thing you could do. Because what you are is you're basically saying, I'm prey. Just like if you ran from a dog, my dog will chase me and jump on me because her instincts kick in, not because she's a vicious dog. So you wanna be very calm, you wanna be very focused, and you want them to know that you see them. Because they are stalking predators, they are ambush predators, and what they will always try to do is sneak up behind you. Not always to take a bite out of you, but because they're curious. Maybe they wanna bump you, maybe, you know, they, they just kinda of wanna check out what you are. So always focus on them. And what I do, especially when a big shark is approaching me like a tiger shark is I always go vertical in the water, meaning the shark can see my entire body. So it's not just looking at my head like this because then I look small. If I look large in the water, sharks are very smart and it goes, that's not what I normally eat. That's a weird thing. So you're, you're letting that shark know that you're something different. And with the big sharks, often they will come into you. I have had to grab a tiger shark by the head and move her over. So there are just gentle movements Boy. that, yeah. <laughs> Wow. And that's, you know, the fact that they will do that, that they will come into you and bump you and you can move them away from you is honestly pretty incredible. So what is that feeling like when you're there? And I know that the, the, you, you, you talk about it in the show because I saw the trailer that you, you went to the Turks and Caicos and then this particular place there's only, a, a, I won't give it away, but there's a unique reason for that, that destination. But you're in the in the water with all of these monster shark tiger sharks. What does that feel like? Well, that was a very interesting feeling. So what you, what you mentioned in the trailer is we showed up and we knew that people had really only seen female tiger sharks there. So we went, well, this is interesting. Where are the males? We know they have to be here. Also, the very interesting thing about it is that tiger sharks are not really seen and known about in Turks and Caicos. So we took a big risk showing up when you're filming a show there to find a complete 
completely unstudied and unheard of population of tiger sharks. The other thing is that there are areas that you can go to in the world, like Tiger Beach in the Bahamas, where those sharks are, are wild sharks, but they are conditioned to human presence. They understand the sound of boats. They know that people show up. They know that people will interact with them. They know that people will feed them. What we were dealing with is a completely unhabitated, unconditioned population of sharks. So what's interesting about that is you don't know how these sharks are going to behave and you don't know how they're going to react. And we were in the water with several massive females and it's all sandy bottom. So at times it would get kicked up and it would get murky. And you were just doing this the whole time and we're watching each other's backs to make sure that you know these 12 footers don't sneak up behind you because you have to always be conscious and aware. Well, Discovery has, uh, I think, tapped into something with Shark Week. It's an amazing thing. I've been watching it for years. And every year it seems that they have something new. And now, now of course, now they have the Tiger Queen uh, on Discovery Plus, which is fantastic. And that's, that's part of this greater Shark Week programming that they have. Is it the whole month? So we have one week and it's become a phenomenon. Shark Week has been going on for 33 years. I used to watch this as a kid and be like, oh man, maybe one day. And here I am. So this year what they're doing is they're breaking up the programming. Some of it will be on Discovery Proper, the cable channel, and some will be exclusives on Discovery Plus, which is which is their platform that you can subscribe to for $4.99 a month. And Tiger Queen is going to be on Discovery Plus on July 14th, which is super exciting. I finally get to be a part of Shark Week. Oh, that is fantastic. Congratulations. And of course, we need to remind our viewers that you're also part of Beyond TV. You have your show called Explore This, which of course we love and our viewers love because they watch every episode that you're on. Uh, Kinga, it's been a, a joy and a delight to catch up with you, and I'm so glad you got home safe from that, uh, that shark dive. Thank you so much, Carlos. Always a pleasure chatting with you.